Well, it's tomorrow night that Australian boxing fans get to feast on another main event bout. Jeff Horn and Michael Zarafa, who've never come face to face, well, have come face to face, ne not in the ring though. They did today in terms of their weigh in ahead of this showdown at Bendigo tomorrow night. We're joined now by boxing commentator Paul Upham. Paul, good to catch up with you. I know you're pretty excited to see this one, as we all are, for a whole lot of reasons. Both men have met at the Wayne a little earlier today. What did you read into it? Any nerves from either camp? Oh, it was a very interesting one because Michael Zarafa, he looked really ripped, really fit. You know, he's putting everything into this opportunity to knock off Jeff Horn, who's going in as a deserved favourite after his win over Manny Pacquiao. But when they got together and Zarafa got right in his face there and he was making go sure that Jeff Horn knew that Horn was coming into his backyard in Victoria. And I like that. I thought there was a bit of confidence there, a bit of aggression there from Zarafa. It wasn't actually what he did, it's just it wasn't what he said, just the way he stood there and stared him down. And you can see the size difference, much bigger than Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn, of course, coming up from welterweight, an extra six kilos at middleweight. So I really like this contest, and I think Zarafa, you can see there, really thinks he's got a big chance of winning. So it's a great fight on Saturday night on main event. If you go on body language alone, you would say Zarafa's the man who used to have a world title and is the champion, but should we read too much into how they look at a weigh-in? Look, ultimately, it's how they fight in the ring that counts, and we've seen Jeff Horn at his best when he beat Manny Pacquiao. We've seen him knock Anthony Mundine, probably past his best, Anthony Mundine, when he knocked him out in one round. We saw him lose to Terence Crawford, one of the best in the world in Las Vegas, and he wasn't his best that night. And I think he was struggling with the weight. I think you see there the body shape of Jeff Horn, that extra six kilos is really going to help him. And I think Jeff Horn's going to be able to fight a lot faster pace. He's going to be able to punch a little bit harder, have a bit more weight behind his punches. So I think there's an advantage there for Jeff Horn going into this, coming up in weight. But the question is, and this is where Michael Zaraf is going to put that question mark, is he coming up too many weight classes? Would he be better off at super welterweight? And this is what will determine the fight. I think Zaraf is in for a, a really good chance. He's 26 wins, three losses, very experienced. His only losses have been overseas. He lost in Moscow on points. He lost to Peter Quinlan, the American over in uh, America. So, look, he's very experienced and he's going to bring a lot. And he's going to use that height advantage and the read advantage. And if he can hurt Jeff Horn coming in, it's really going to take him a long way to winning the fight. Well, we know Horn's a warrior, the Hornet. He doesn't mind if it goes the distance. Is that how you imagine he'll try and uh, take this fight tactically? Or is he going in for the quick and easy kill? I think he's going to show respect to Zarafa that he's a very good fighter. He's a bit bigger, uh, a bit taller. I think Jeff Horn likes to try and outwork you and, and win the rounds. Like he beat Manny Pacquiao, he won the fight clearly on points as far as I was concerned and the judges at the time at ringside. And he's just going to try and get those, those rounds up. I don't think he'll be trying to knock him out in the early rounds. I don't think that's Jeff Horn's sort of go. He'll be aggressive, he'll throw lots of punches and he'll make Zaraf a question uh, whether he wants to be in the ring with him. But ultimately, maybe he's looking for a points win, but hey, it's Jeff Horn. If he knocks you out, he knocks you out. So it's one of those great things about boxing. We never really know for sure what's going to happen. Yeah, the biggest, I guess, criticism of Horn has been the plan B. If he can't get on the inside and really work you over, what does he do from there? And as you've quite rightly pointed out, there's a distinct height and reach advantage there for the challenger. And that's what we saw when Jeff Horn lost. Uh, to Terence Crawford. Crawford was able to hurt him coming forward and once you back up Jeff Horn, he didn't have a bland B as you pointed out there quite rightly. So can Zarafa hurt Jeff Horn because Horn loves to come forward. He is the Hornet for a reason. He likes to swarm ahead, throw lots of punches. If Zarafa can pick him up and back him up, well then Zarafa's on his way to winning the fight. So it's an interesting matchup. It's a well matched up fight. Too many times in Australian boxing we see mismatches. This is not one of them. This is a fight on main event. It's deserved of pay-per-view status. And I can't wait to see it because I think Jeff Horn moving up two weight classes really puts a question mark on whether he should go in as the favourite or not. Well, Horn, we know what he wants to do. He wants to get back in the reckoning of world titles. And at 31, you'd say if he wins, then a set uh, for a shot at a WBA crown. But he really needs to win and win well, doesn't he, to put himself right back in the reckoning for these sorts of titles. He has a million dollar reason to win. They've, they've already locked in the fight. December 23 in Japan against the WBA middleweight uh, world champion, Ryota Murata, uh, who's 15 wins and two losses. It's a very winnable fight for Jeff Horn if he can win. There's no world title fight if he loses to Zarafa. 
all the pressure is on Jeff Horn. And maybe that's why he looked a little bit concerned at the weigh-in today, because he knows how much is riding on this fight. It's not just an average tune-up fight. When you think about it, there's a multi-million dollar payday. Somebody's whole life is going to change, because if, uh, if uh, Zarafa wins, he's going to put his hand up and want that fight in Japan for the world title. So the entire lives of Jeff Horn and, and Zarafa are going to change. Whoever wins on Saturday night, and that's what makes it so interesting because we don't know what's going to happen. But, yeah, you know, if I was Jeff Horn and I was putting a million dollars a payday on the line, I'd be a little bit concerned as well. Yeah, and bearing in mind his last fight, it was only 96 seconds. There might just be a little bit of ring rust there for uh, Jeff Horn. It's going to be intriguing viewing on main event. There is no doubt about it.